Breeders, this past week and a half, the world seemed to have caught a case of black girl magic-itis. First, Disney announced the day before Independence Day that singer Holly Bailey would be playing Ariel in the, of course they're about to make a live action remake of it, adaptation of The Little Mermaid. And white people were mad about it. How mad? I don't know. Mad enough to try and start some fake outrage mm -hmm. by using a Valley Girl ass bot account and start a complete hashtag on Twitter. Zimbala bad bitch? Cat Black, is that you? And now, almost a week later, rumors have been circulating about the 25th Bond movie now that it's in... Production... Wait... Wait, it's in production? They found a director? Daniel Craig was injured on set? D d don't nobody tell me nothing, I swear. Anyway, this rumor in particular revolves around Captain Marvel star Lashana Lynch. According to it, she'll be taking up the mantle of 007 in the film, making her the first woman and the first person of color in the film franchise to take up the codename. And just like the Ariel story before it, white people are mad about it. <laughs> so mad that they completely forgot that Daniel Craig is still in the movie, playing James Bond. <laughs> Right now, the rumor in question is that Lashana's character is taking up the mantle of the codename 007 because after the events of Spectre, James Bond has retired from MI6. But now that Christoph Waltz's Blofeld is back after it's been confirmed that he is going to be in this movie, M, played by Ralph Fiennes, has to track down James Bond so he can enroll him to do one last mission, which will probably involve him working with the new 007. But yes, readers, that's the extent of Lashana's role in this currently filming untitled 25th James Bond film. James Bond is still James Bond. He's just not 007 anymore. If the rumor is true. And even if it is, so what? It's not like this is the first time we've seen him without the code name. Because, if you recall, James Bond wasn't always a series of movies. It started off as every other great Hollywood franchise started off as. A book series. You see, in the book You Only Live Twice, which came out in 1964 before being adapted into the fifth James Bond movie about three years later starring Sean Connery, James had to be transferred to a new department and given a new code name, 7777. It wasn't until the next book in the series was released a year later, The Man with the Golden Gun, which wasn't adapted into film until 1974 when Roger Moore was James Bond, that he actually got the code name 007 back. Look, 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 don't, 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 don't ask me why MGM made the movies out of the order of the books. Y'all lucky y'all getting this today, all right? The point is, outside of obvious trolls, the reason why this is being made into such a big deal by obvious parties is because the article that even broke this rumor and even revealed how Lashana is going to be introduced allegedly into this movie did so in a way that was purposely tailored to trigger the anti-SJW doing things like emphasizing that one of the writers of the movie is a feminist, and that instead of James's love interest being called Bond girls from now on, they're gonna be called Bond women now. Basically anything to get the Pepe's poppin' posts. Which is why even the most boo-boo of fools are fanning the flames of Lashana replacing Daniel Craig in the franchise. And that's mostly because they wanna get the woke culture is ruining everything and the White characters need to stay white because, God forbid, there's just so little of them now dice rolling. While this may in fact be Daniel Craig's last James Bond movie, we won't know for sure if Lashana's actually replacing him until it comes out. We also don't know if James Bond is going to be recast in Bond 26, which considering what Daniel Craig has been preaching lately, might actually happen. Or, and I cannot stress this enough, 
because all the things that I posted in this video are just rumors. If anything I just said is factually legit. In which case you should take anything that I've said in this video regarding this information with the finest of grains of salt. Like it shouldn't be able to melt a patch of snow, let alone season eggs. So with that being said, readers, your homework assignment for the day. Write in the comment section below what your thoughts are regarding the rumor that LaShondra Lynch is possibly playing the new 007. Yes, I boated those specific words and phrases in this script. Why, 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 why do you ask? If you want to help financially support the channel, you can join my Patreon by clicking the card at the end of the video or in the link in the description down below. Or you can also find a link to my merchandise store. Or if you prefer to give a one-time donation, you can find links to my PayPal and my coffee account in the description box as well. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and every other Friday. But until then, this is Redis 101. Class dismissed.